the little hall and I see, I see a guy go, fleep, just leap by, and I go, what, what's that? And, then, and I see people leaping in the hall, and then I realize, oh, that's right, circus here. And tomorrow night, it's California Recall Night. Uh, Dennis Miller will be here with his insights, along with the uh, 18-year-old politician from Alliance, Ohio. Later in the week, oh, he hasn't been here in a while, George Carlin, that'll be great. Lance Armstrong and uh, Dolly Parton as well. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, my first guest, one of our favorite people in the whole world. She's so cute. She co-hosts the Today Show. You know, she should do, remember on uh, those detective shows, how Heather Lockley would go undercover, All right, like right. in Hot Pants as a dancer? <laughs> right. They should do that sometime with Katie, like, uh, you know, she has to go undercover for a story in Hot Pants or something. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think it'd be great at it. Uh, and they say, we swapped shows last May. She did a great job. Please welcome the lovely Katie Kirk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For coming. Oh, hi, yeah, you should Jay. do that. Did you hear my intro? I did. That's a great idea. I think that would be I'm good. sure they're going to go for that at NBC. Well, thanks for guest hosting. You did a wonderful job. Thank that you. Was... I had so much fun. Right, well, it was so good. much fun. Did you? Now, did you? I loved it, and all the fo everybody on the show, they were all so yeah. terrific and so helpful, and it was. I had such a great time. Did you watch yourself? A lot of people don't like to. Yeah, yeah, I've only watched it about 752 oh, times. Really? No, seriously, I TiVo'd it, and so <laughs> friends of mine come over to the apartment. I'm like, so what do you want to do? Want to watch The Tonight Show? My kids are like, oh, no, not again. And I'm like, come on, let's watch real quick. So I have watched it a few times. Oh. And every time I think I'm hilarious. Oh, well, that's, well, that's okay. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? It is. Well, you're like the opposite of everybody else in show business. But you're honest. Huh? So you feel at home now? You feel this? I feel, it? well, actually, I have to tell you. Well, first of all, nice suede couch. I don't yeah, think this was here. Yeah, that's guys. It, really? Yeah, it's yeah. nice. But I feel kind of weird because, frankly, you know, when I was here last time, I, I had a desk and everything. And so this oh. is kind of, I feel sort of, you know, exposed. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that you would, you, would you want this desk, is that what you're saying? Well, something like it, or a facsimile thereof. Well, here, stand up. Let's see what we can do. Stand up, stand up. Let's see what we can do. Guys, guys, let's see what we can do here. Um, <laughs> You guys yeah. again. <laughs> my my motto, don't leave home without them. Yeah, wait, here, let me, the, let me, wait, let me, wait, let me fix Spiro that. do the peck? Oh, wait. Okay, there you go. So you see your legs. Oh, oh you added a little something. This is nice. Now, Before they go for old time's sake, can Spiro do the peck dance? Ellen, can you get Spiro? Now, can you do that? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's talent. Thank you, guys. Thank nice to well, see you. Well, thank you, guys. You thank you. What, what a thrill it was to have you guys bring it out. This was so now, nice see, of you, Jay. Now, you see, see if, if I had four girls in bikinis, out the boo, sexist pigs. Now, see, you can get away with it. See, it's women true. can get, it's a double standard. <laughs> oh, wah. <laughs> well, how about Robbie Williams? Let me ask you about that. that oh, that he was... was crazy. No, he wasn't. No, you were crazy. Uh, hello. No. He was crazy. No. He was your guest. Like, you begged, oh, we have to have him. Oh, we, we well, have to Well, he's very, him. very hot, and he, he's no, like... he's hot to you. No, 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 no. He's not no, hot no. to you. No, 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 no. Really? Show the tape. You tell me this. Let's see. I cannot get enough. Dance. Is that what you call a lap dance? Oh, is that what you call it? Don't play Miss Innocent with me. It's not <laughs> 8 o'clock in the morning where people are sleeping. They go, well, oh, maybe she really is innocent. This is late at night. They know what's going on. <laughs> now, did your parents, what did your parents think of that? Did they want My parents said, we like you better in the morning. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> they did. Is that right? They, yeah, they, didn't, they thought it was a little risque, a little oh, raunchy. A little raunchy. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, just a tad. Right. But they're very, you know, straight laced. Oh, they're very straight laced. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did they know who Robbie was? No. They no, didn't. No, they didn't, they know, didn't know who Simon Cowell was either. <laughs> no, they don't know who I am either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Jay, exactly. <laughs> was it easier or harder than the Today Show? That's what I'm curious. I think about. it was. Well, you have a great staff, and they yeah. come up with a lot of funny jokes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, 
So it was it was different, and yeah. it was very you know it was fun and, and very liberating just to have that whole other side yeah. come out. But the interviews were pretty similar to what you do on the Today Show, yeah. except you have to they have to your guest has to be more entertaining, kind of like I'm not being nobody doing really fun. <laughs> See, to me when I hosted when I hosted it was tricky because. I'd go, let me, uh, and then that was it. Let me ask, hey, there's somebody else asking a question. It was, yeah, it was, it's was, true. No, it was when you weird. work with a, a partner, you have to kind of have a certain rhythm and chemistry and with that person. Too it's hard. Early. But you did a great job. No, you I really did. Okay. did. Well, you know and what, and I, I have to like tell a... you guys, everybody at the Today Show loved working with Jay. Well, thank well, that's they very did. nice. They, well, they, really they, were, they, were, they were very nice people. Because I, you know, I don't. I don't go to bed till like I go to bed about three, three thirty. I know you didn't go to sleep that night. You no, just I just stayed figured. Up all well, night I'll long. just stay up the whole night because it's like three thirty, and I'd go to bed for like two hours. So then I wander in, and then they put me in a car doing donuts with Matt Lauer. <laughs> yeah. which, which was really. They said, "You want to do donuts?" Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not my car. What do I care? I <laughs> yeah. plow into the crowd, and so it's very odd. It takes some getting used to, right, but it was fun. Take a break. We, you'll see more of Katie's legs. Do we have a spotlight? Put the spotlight on Katie's legs. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. More risque humor with Katie Kirk right after. Uh, Katie Gams Carrick. Oh, stop. Kind of a, like a point <laughs> counterpoint kind of thing. So, what have you been doing lately? Any, any good interviews? Who you, who you been? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, I'm, I'm uh, interviewing Elizabeth Smart's parents this, this month, oh, cool. which will be interesting in, yeah. in Salt Lake. And uh, they have obviously have an incredible story. And that was just, I remember when I heard the news that she had been found, it was so wonderful to actually have a happy yeah, ending you to go, a story when because you just ever? didn't, yeah. right, didn't think it was possible. But, on a lighter note, I just on Friday interviewed Sting in Central Park. He's written a book called Broken Music. Okay. And first of all, he's incredibly talented, hot. And he's also... <laughs> now, did you buy that tantric sex thing? No. That I, turned know, out to be phony. All these girls, well, know. Sting has sex for eight hours. Oh, sorry, I, know. He I said, only he... went seven and a half. No, I'm he sorry. said, no, and that included a movie, dinner, groveling, right? Oh, he, yeah, yeah. He, he sort of... Uh, changed his whole story there. But he's actually incredibly eloquent and smart. He used to be an English teacher. Oh, is that right? he, yeah, and his book is wonderful. He wrote it himself, yeah. which I always respect. I hate when people say with so and so. It's like, why'd yeah. you write the book? Yeah, yeah. And he, you know, he uses words like vertiginous, which means causing dizziness or oh. related to vertigo. I love words. Why I did like that the word, word come up in the conversation? I no, he wrote about New York City and described it as oh, a vertiginous place. But oh. we're like word freaks at our house. When I was yeah. a little girl we used to bring a new word to the dinner table yeah. every night. So I've tried to adopt that at my house for my kids because I want them to do well on their verbals, right. <laughs> SATs. And so uh, we bring in these fun words. Ellie brought in vexatious uh, the vexatious. other day, which is annoying. And, and uh, that's what it means. And then um, Carrie, <laughs> my seven-year-old, and then they have to use it in a sentence, brought in this word calipigious. And I asked her to use the word in a sentence, and she said, Mommy, you're calipigious. That means you have a big butt. Oh. <laughs> Like I was if like, she's grounded I'm not sure I like now. this game yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm sure she's grounded for yeah. a month. All right. Now, are you covering the, the recall as well? Is that why you're out here? Yes, I am. Is it hysterical? Are they laughing it is in New York? Crazy. Are people in New York thinking just Californians are just idiots? Well, New Yorkers have a you know well, yeah, a lot of nerves in that too. But you know, but, but, it, but it's it true. is it is kind of crazy. But you I have to say, stupid. as a journalist, yeah. it's a lot of fun to cover. But it's <laughs> exhausting because I when I do the Today Show yeah. out here, I get up at 2 a.m. because you have to be out out here and, and ready to go at 4. Okay. Because it's seven in the east, right, sure. so okay. I was getting a little tired, but I feel actually good. Okay. Yeah, because I flew out here and Rush Limbaugh sat next to me on the plane. Really? Yeah, and he gave me some vitamins. Woo! Oh, really? wow. <laughs> wow. I feel good. Well, I Kevin, you right know how that. that is. Kevin knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin good. doesn't know how it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Katie. <laughs> On that show, the show when I hosted it, Rebecca yeah. uh, Stamos yeah. did a little tape for me. She goes, stay away from Kevin Eubanks brownies, Katie, because they'll mess 
you up. <laughs> she had a good time. She was doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> good times, good times. So what, what else did you do today? What else? What, what, uh, today? Let's see. Well, actually, we've been blanketing the state covering okay. this recall. We have yeah. NBC News correspondents out 24-7. Mm -hmm. I think we had some covering Gray Davis, who was buying Samsonite luggage. Cruz oh, Bustamante, really? yes. <laughs> we're, Smitty, help me out no, here, Try buddy. it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Wait, Cruz. say it again. Say it again. Okay, we covered Gray Davis. He was out buying Samsonite luggage. Oh. Hey, hey, Cruz Bustamante, meanwhile, was at a casino, whooping it up with his friends and family. And Arnold Schwarzenegger was out pressing the flesh. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's why I don't give you You know something we tonight. should do? We should take you to a comedy club and, yeah. and, and like audition Mr. night Chuckles. and see how you do. You know, take you like to the Comedy Hut or one of those places yeah. and see how you, that would be another great idea. That well, you do that all the time. No, do it in yourself. hot pants. Doing comedy in hot pants. Yeah, I'm telling you. Now, how are your kids? You always bring a joke that your kids told. Yeah, me. I asked Carrie, actually, before I uh, came on the show if she had any good jokes, because I told a couple that they told me last right, time. Right. And uh, she said, oh, tell them this joke, Mom. Do you hear about the Irish guy that walked out of the bar? Hey, it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not politically correct, but and her, last name, her last name is Monaghan. Yeah. And it's the funniest part is after she tells it, she goes, Mom, I don't really get that. <laughs> I'm like, I'll explain it later. Oh, that's a, and it's <laughs> yeah. nice that you explain it. You see, honey, the Irish people. <laughs> Your ancestors, Miss <laughs> Monaghan, <laughs> right? Now, what, what, you're looking for talent on the Today Show? Oh, now? yeah, we're doing this thing in uh, November. We've been advertising a lot called Today Superstar. It's really kind of a cheesy version of American <laughs> Idol. So we ask people, like, like as if, right? Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like a cheesy version of American Idol, <laughs> you know. As opposed to the... Yeah, yeah the highbrow PBS yeah. Masterpiece Theater it's, one. It's frightening what people send in, isn't it? Yeah, oh no, I know. We've gotten some real yeah. doozies. Well, it's amazing what people actually will allow to be shown on national television of themselves. Well, let's take a look. We have three here? I think so, yeah. I should have changed that stupid love. I should have made you leave your key. And just turn around now. Because you're not a welcome member. And she says, banner. <laughs> she was very actually, into it. Actually, a friend of yours was kind enough to give me a tape of you. What are you talking singing. about? No, this is no, this is good. Are you kidding? No, no, no. You sing, you, you have a beautiful voice. This is not quite hot pants, but it, it's close. Oh, take we a look. Did this Here's is Katie. A joke. Yeah, Katie, Katie, let's take a look. Here you. I was listening to the music of the traffic in the city.